What's going on everybody? It's your man Bishop Bang and welcome to another episode of It's Whatever with the Bishop. I am your host, Bishop Bang, the Million Dollar Trainer, and I have my co-host with me, Funny Man Jeff. Yeah, yeah yep. yep. And we are in the building. Yes, sir. We have someone with us today. We like to do this thing where we tell a little bit about you and you let us know if you if we got it right. Alright, I'm with it. What are you, three and up, four and up? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good right now. I think I I haven't really Fuck yeah, anything yeah, up to yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I might have forgotten one thing, but I never got anything wrong wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, see, real quick, people don't know, me and this dude go way back. Uh his pops, uh God bless uh Uncle Wes and my and my father's uh god brother, uh God bless Uncle Rock, we're best friends. Yeah. So that in turn us growing up we grew up tight and under some of the same guidelines. He took the good path though. <laughs> but anyway, so <laughs> I grew up with him and we got super tight when he was like 7th, 8th grade um, uh, through Stevie. Stevie kind of brought us back tight. God bless Stevie. So let me get to the point. But I, I'm going to run this down because I didn't have to really do no homework. I, I know a lot of this. Yeah. But um, it's one thing I, I'm not sure on, but I know you got it. But we'll come back to it. So anyway, this man graduated Harrisburg High, class of 06. Uh, one of the original uh, Harrisburg Royals, the, the East Shore Royals. <laughs> I don't even take yeah, it back that yeah, far. Sure uh, it, it went to Ben Franklin. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, graduated 06, of course, from Harrisburg High. Uh, um, was the floor general, that football alone, and fully focused on basketball. I remember his senior year, junior, yeah. senior year, even your sophomore year. Yeah. Just running the track while it was football season. He's like, nah, I'm good. All right. Um, do you have a district title? Yes. That's a district title. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> him and his brother. Went to Susquehanna University, yeah. him for basketball, his brother for football, okay. and they graduated from Susquehanna University. All right. All right. Master's degree, right? Master's degree. All of y'all got master's, the whole major's the clan. Major's okay, boom, that was my question. They got the master's. Yeah. Okay. Um, so after that, we, we go on to uh, major prep. Did the, the birth it. Owner, operator, CEO, yes. that is his baby because he doesn't have any children, so this is yeah. his child. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> his love child. Yeah. And um, we are what? Seven deep? Seven strong. On the major prep yes, uh, 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 basketball camp slash, it's, it's a whole thing. It's, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. it's, a, yeah. it's yeah. more than a camp, it's yeah. a situation. Situation. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like that one. Um, past couple seasons. The uh, you guys have been author. Oh, was you going to get there? Yeah, okay, but I'm sorry. Author. Yes. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> Trading for trial. Yeah. Yes. Amazon or him? Yeah. Amazon. Yeah. 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 Sure yeah. Or him. Yeah. Get it from yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. The Trump. Yeah. The Trump. Yeah. 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 The uh, Harlem Globetrotters the past couple years. The past two years. But fuck me, because, <laughs> excuse my language, we're going to have a lot of poor people like that. Because the name of the green is the Generals or? The Washington Generals. Boom. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, let, let me see what else. Uh, you are a trainer. Even with the, even with the major yes. prep brand, you are a motivational speaker. Yes. Professional are, speaker. Yes. I don't really use motivation. Professional uh, speaker. Professional, yeah. You are a trainer as well. You yes. will go to somebody's camp, somebody's school, somebody's whatever. Right? Yeah. You will get kids together in the summertime at the park. Like, come on. Let's get it. And you were even at Spooky Nook. Spooky. Let me take it back there. Yeah, I was the first official yeah. basketball trainer there when he first opened. I was the very first. A couple first. years back. Four yeah. years back. About three, four, three. Four years ago, I think it yeah. was now. See, I can keep, like, we're going to take off fucking episode to get his accolades. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, um. That's why when you said you had it off top, I said, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost back. Come on. Yeah, it's been a good, good, good bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's what they do, right? Bit, huh? You do photography, too, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Shit. Yeah. It's a Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is football season. He, he loves the Eagles. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. We're going to be cool. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna so, right. without further ado, yes, Brian B. Mage Majors yes. is here. Man, it's yes. a my brother. Be here All right, man. my right, you already know. The bishop, man. Yeah, we had the. It, it took us a while. And I said, this man is busy. Yeah. He told me. He told me back at uh, yeah. as soon as the season was over, yeah. we were gonna figure it out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so we had to get them dates together. Yeah, I know you're very busy. What's up, man? Man, just blessed man blessed okay. how they favor by the best with no stress man okay and he's a clothing designer yeah yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah. yeah. 
That was coming up here. Coming up to two. Show him the shoes. Yeah. Oh, the shoes is pretty fly too. <laughs> yes, he got made to prep yeah. for the shoes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's all coming together full, yeah, it's good, full man. circle. It's good. You gotta wear so nobody good. shit. That's good. Yeah, I don't really wear it. If I don't know the yeah. person, I don't really yeah. wear it. That's good. Like that's straight up. If I don't know the person, so it's really over. Uh, we're, we're start where you where you want to start. Yeah. Uh, Man, I, I was like, man, look, I, I told you, I said, I don't, want, I don't got no question. We just go let him start. Yeah, I'm done. I'm and done working now. I'm just here to yeah. talk. <laughs> man, the, the, uh, the journey, people, a lot of people don't even realize the journey really began with Bishop, though, man. Yeah. Like, it really began with him when I was I was formulating my whole structure yeah. of, of Major Prep, man. I, um, you should see him in Gold Gym. Like, nah, it was before Planet. It was Planet. We was at Planet it before Golds? No, we was at Planet first, yeah. Planet, Golds, and then... Yep. You right. Yeah. You Planet. right. It was at Planet, Planet Fitness. Strongest dude in the gym, man. I'm home from college, thinking I'm in, in good shape. Yeah. Man, I walk in the gym, and sometimes I just, like, watch his workouts and go to the other side and go do the same way everything I seen him do. Yeah. So then it was just like... Um, I talked to the owner back then, or the manager then, yeah. uh, Rick. And he was like, yeah, I was asking about him. He was like, yeah, I mean, cool dude, man. Let's go talk to him. Like, the next day, yo, man, like, I, I see you in here, teach man. Teach me the game ghost. Basically, for real. Like, teach me the game ghost. Yeah. And I uh, went up to him, talked to him, and we, and we clicked ever since. He was with me in my leg transition. Because we... Yeah, 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 He yeah. was with me in the leg transition. Yeah. When I started transitioning to the legs, I was like, I said, I knew, bro. I, well, I knew he bought. So I was like, okay, he, he was... So I knew, but I was at, with no E, I'm like, all right, we got this. You ever kill you on the leg day? Yeah. It went down. I used to go yeah, down crazy. Go down. Like, I used to get it down. I almost passed out it, two it, Tuesdays it, ago. It literally <laughs> go down. Like, That's why I said, I, I was telling him, I said, you took it and just, yeah. you know what you do. Because yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I couldn't handle, he, we were, um, this was the difference. He was good with the calisthenics. He had the stand yeah. And the stand the So yeah. I'll be like. I just had to think about it. Like, bro, you gonna lead the day? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why did I ask him to lead the day? Unless be... you know it was just a hundred reps of this, <laughs> and a lot of this. I was like, Tons yeah. of cardio. But I knew, I knew I needed, and I knew the difference, the difference of what we brought. And I was like, oh, okay, it was it was different. Yeah, I was in, I was like heavy and certain just compound straight. Isolation moves, mm -hmm. and he came with this different. I was like, okay. It was, then, it was, it was a nice. It was a nice mix, man. They would tell, oh. and Terry would get the basket. They were basketball players, right? Mm -hmm. And they'd be able to do because they was that athletic basketball type. You just like, trying to throw away. Well, I, I get in there, yeah. I get in there because <laughs> it was them reps where you'd be like, <sighs> yeah, rolling yeah. out. They were rolling out, hang, hanging off of benches, rolling out with the weights this way, doing sit ups and core all crazy. I was like. Yeah. <laughs> But when it came to that 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 throw that iron man, like that's what I needed. But I watched you, I re I put it together. Now you had to have been with him because I remember when you first came home from school. Yes, you were in, in great shape, chiseled up. But I could tell because when you must have got with him, then you. It was one point you was like, "This is like Jesus Christ." Yeah. <laughs> we got a picture together yeah, side yeah, by yeah. side, I got them and we yeah, both we like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, I, and I, I needed that phase in my life though, just to. Look at him um, now. Be able to challenge my body where I now I learned how to, if I want to balk, yeah. I learned I can balk. Right. I learned like the, even the structure, even how to teach people to balk and, mm -hmm. and, gain, and gain muscle mass. But then I also combined it with my calisthenics. So now I'm probably in the best shape of my life, like yeah. nice and yeah. chopped up and cuts and curves and different type of muscles that I didn't see before so yeah. but it stemmed from ready to model some major prep briefs for him man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey. you never know man but uh yeah so that that Brent helped really mold the fitness mm -hmm. aspect of major prep and then um Sean Lewis coach Dez they really helped mold the basketball aspect of a major prep where I was always a point guard I was always a leader and I always had a knack for the fundamentals on how to really sharpen my game because right. I wasn't always the tallest. Mm -hmm. I was always the fastest, but I could I wasn't that dunker and I wasn't right. always the best shooter when I was young. So I had to really work harder than a lot of my teammates. But at the same time, I set everybody up the right way. I understood all aspects of the movements and agility and importance of um, speed and agility and different cuts and just understanding the whole game. 
that by the time I finished high school and college, I just took off. You you started all four years in college? All four years, every single game. It's like the most minutes ever in history. So I, I want to go back a little bit. Um, growing up in the majors out in the high school. <laughs> I'm saying that because, I'm saying, I, I say that to say this, because you have um, different families, right? You have families. Yeah. Families that come from that, where everyone... Like, you'll have a big brother that sets the standard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the next brother sets mm -hmm. his own standard. Then everybody. So it's like, where do you get in? So, like, what was the... I, and I'm saying this because I, I set a tone in my house. Um, yeah. What was the tone in your house that made everyone... Because everyone succeeded. Mm -hmm. And they're still succeeding. So what was said and what was brought up in the house that made y'all the men that y'all are today? A lot of kudos, as people know, goes to our father. Yeah, because I know it's in there. Yeah, everybody yeah, that, 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 that's, that's a real dead. good. I was, I was, it was the main. He was the male figure in our life. Like okay. I'm talking about, he was a man's man. And okay. then he ain't play around when it okay. came to, to to his boys. Okay. But my mother, she really was the mold. Though. Okay. Um, my father, he was that good, powerful man who taught us different things right. and still a lot of things in us. But that mom's love, that mom's mold right. that she put on us, still okay. to us. Man, she she held it down for all of okay. us, and then um, transitioning my oldest brother Wes. Okay, like he, a lot of people. Wes is a city councilman. Yeah, but a lot of people don't know the impact he had on all of our lives. He's okay. the oldest of four. Right, right. So the direction Wes was going, we was going to follow. Right. So it was Wes. He did this, this, and the third. Okay. Then Garrett, he did this, that, and the third, and held up to. And you got to see What's this thing? I got to see it. I got to right. learn from the mistakes. I right. got to learn from the lessons. Right. And I got to learn when they got them butt whoopings with right. the paddle. I right. got to learn when or how they made some extra money doing their trip. I learned so much from being the youngest. Okay. Instead of being like the the spoiled brat or the the, the young wild child. Right. Nah, I used to sit back and just watch. Okay. And learn and and and, and, and observe and, and, and evaluate. So we got the you got the professional speaker, basketball player. You're ever gonna say the slash. Then you got the state trooper, mm -hmm. the councilman. Yep. I'm missing. And Garrett's an um, entrepreneur. He has he runs a couple cleaning businesses right. in Atlanta, and he's an NFL representative as well. Yeah. So. And he, he got, got real, real estate, estate up here. Yeah. And real estate. He does real estate too. So it's. it's mom, just, can, mom can tip her hat. Man, she can tip. She yeah. can tip it. Yeah. Yeah. She she can tip That's it. Like dope. she was the educator for her, so she really set the tone with getting a master degree. And okay. then West went and got his master. Okay. It was my mom. Garrett got his first. Okay. Wes got his, and then my brother and my twin brother Eric and I both got ours as well. Okay. So it was the standard. It was set. Yeah, it was big. like, yo, ain't <laughs> you know what was dope though about any of his close friends that grew up with him? We all shared his pop. Now, good. I grew up with a yeah. father too. Right, right, my, my dad learned tons of stuff from him and Uncle Rock. So the, the stuff my dad instilled in me, he, he West West taught me that, Rock taught me that. But even the people who didn't have fathers, if you walked in that house, remember this, you had to know your planets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of all things like your planets, yeah. the Lord's Prayer. And it was like one or two other things. If you didn't know that, like he was on your back. You know what I mean? Like and and another good thing was he didn't shelter them. We used to have some of the some of the best parties where people were gonna say the Allison Hill Center, the yeah. Boys Club. If you didn't get to experience a basement party at day crib, yeah. <laughs> great, we was young. Right. But so it's like his mom and dad, like, they had that perfect balance that was mm -hmm. dope. You know what I mean? Like, was different. It was different. I look back now, like, wow. But it was a balance where, okay, these is young men. Right. And at that point in our lives, it was, all right, if they're going to learn different things, let's learn, let's have it a, um, what's the word, a kind of constructive or, 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 or structured learning environment deeper than just being young men. So okay. we want you to we want you to learn how to party the right way. Right. We want you to learn um, that if you're gonna have fun, let's have it here. So right. at least their eyes is on. Right. Like everybody walking right. through. Everybody right. walking out. Everybody right. is safe right. at this party. With it's not. It's not keeping you all from. They let you stay. Right. right. What well, we gonna do? So they like yo. Yeah. We gonna party. We gonna bring the party to us. Okay. Yeah. But uh, everybody, it's respectful. Though. Everybody's moms and dads understood. Right. Yep. If, if our child's gonna party, we want to make sure that they're under their direction right. as well. My mom, my dad, my aunts, uncles, they all be at the house right upstairs. Right. They come down every now and then right. just to make sure was nobody sick, hurt, yeah. da, da da da. But man, parties used to be off the hook. Mm -hmm. 
Everybody can get five. That house, yeah, that man, house, man, man. <laughs> that house, man, was filled with love. Yeah, Holidays, yeah, you can tell. That's you, what it was. Can, um, it was, it was good, always a good vibe. Tell. Always a good vibe. Somebody say something bad about the majors, they better question them. I was man. thinking that earlier. Like they couldn't even, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I got here, I was thinking because I'm gonna give you your flowers while you living, and this goes to you and all your brothers. Because this is one thing I learned from y'all: how to get along with everybody. Mm-hmm. But to remain yourself. See me, <clears throat> I low key went down the wrong path, started smoking weed, young and drinking and partying. But they didn't have to do that to be cool. The whole school and every other school district loved them dudes and they stayed them the whole time. So that's that is what I always admired about y'all. It was the genuine. Yeah, yeah. they got along with everybody from yeah. the thugs to the nerds and everybody in between, right. man. Really? Again, okay, that that played a that, that played a huge role. My, mm-hmm. But earlier our dad and my mom said, yo, you got choices. Right. Mm-hmm. You can make the right choice or the wrong choice. Mm-hmm. You make these wrong choices, you might end up dead in jail dead or in jail. And if you end up in jail, we ain't coming right, to get you. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah. We like what jail? We don't go to no jail. Yeah. I don't care what it was. Right. I ain't going to no jail. I heard too many stories. I had too many friends like home. Right. Like, like some of my closest friends when in jail and like because you was taught to think. Man, and I'm the youngest of four. Right. I'm the youngest of almost that's everybody say, yeah, that was that's around that. that. From, Man. Uh, yeah. But the, the tone was set. The tone was set. Man. But the the, the 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 biggest blessing for me was. My oldest brother Wes had a group of eight, nine friends. Mm-hmm. Gary has his own group of eight, nine friends. Mm-hmm. Me and Eric had our own right. group of friends, but our own separate mm-hmm. friends. So I learned from so many people ahead of me. They were always around, though, because our house was like the community center almost. Mm-hmm. So I used to just sit and learn and watch. And man, I soaked up the game. Yeah. I soaked up the game. You know, I remember. I soaked <clears> the game. I we were young, because we were only a year apart. Uh, um, it was varsity tryouts. A lot of them. For tryouts when when practice is over and they had to come home after the morning joint, um, they used to come to the crib and eat. And you just look at the looks on their faces, man. Like Smalls was kicking them dudes' ass. And I pretty see me. I, I was I was into wrestling, so it's like I looked at it and laughed at it. Is, is that how you soaked up some of that stuff? Man. Or what you had to endure once you got to that level? I soaked up so many. They so look much dead when they. <laughs> I soaked up so much game, man. Yeah, and all those sponge, guys. Man. The Mike Hill. You know, you see yeah, them. You yeah, see them yeah. first hand. I'm a yeah, sponge. Yeah, yeah. I'm not scared to ask. I'm not um, too arrogant to ask yeah. information. This, you don't ask, you don't yeah, learn. You yeah. won't know. I def- um, I um, you are. How can I say it? Like a teacher. You know what I mean? It, and and I, I commend you. I um, uh, I commend you because you have the time, and it's a it's a different place. Mm-hmm. Um, I always say. You need someone to teach the kids that care. Yeah. Everybody tries to teach the kids that don't care. There's kid, There's a difference. You know what I mean? There's, and, and we if we act like there's not a difference. Then Seems who difference. are we? You can't. You can't put two kids. You can't put. You can put kids in a group together, but you can't. They're different kids. There's mm-hmm. different. Um. There's some kids that care and want to learn, want to grow, that soak it up. Yeah. And that. They need paid attention to it. You can't think automatically because they and I and I and that's what I see with you. Like um, you don't try to save the hood. Um, you come in, you teach. I, I seen you what you uh, what was it? The science at the science academy. It was where was that? Where the book? Yeah, and you held the, yeah, you held yeah, a major. Yeah. it was like a major prep yeah. course. Yep, yeah. you know, and you could just see the kids in there. They was they was with it. Like it wasn't. It was kids that. Mm-hmm. Trying to go to that next level that really looked up, you could just see on their face like they got something out of it, and I could see that from the pictures. Yeah, so I was like, Yeah, that's I, cool. I, I used to get caught in that category though. Was all right, we know he's gonna be okay, like right. you, you don't know that, like right. you don't know, like right. it, it might look the part, right? But when I was in high school, in middle school, in middle school and high school, it was like he don't need any, any, any extra help, he's, he's gonna be okay, yeah. I mean, and I had a confidence enough to know I was okay, but what if. Like it just looked like that, right? But in high school, I didn't like get extra help. I didn't. Right. It was just all right. This is the path. This is what I gotta do. I'm gonna just do it, right? And see how it goes. But I was one of them kids who didn't get the super extra yeah. attention from teachers or super extra help yeah. from anybody or no extra handouts. It was straight focus on what you gotta do. Stay in your lane. And, and you know, but you know what y'all did that I admire. 
him, my brother, his brother, Enoch, Cornelius Johnson. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of them. And even a couple of the females that we grew up with, because I was older. I didn't really do this with my friends, but I used to see them. They used to get together and study together. Yeah. Okay. They used to, whether it was his house or my mom and dad's house or, or Corny's house somewhere, if it was a big project or saw a crazy test going on, at, at ninth grade, tenth grade, they squatting up. It was different. Okay. Yeah. It was different. I admired that about them. I was like, why the fuck ain't me in my place? Getting together doing this shit. What are we doing here? Yeah, wouldn't have been easy. Yeah, yeah man. man. It's just different, man. I just, I just always took pride in setting, setting a tone and setting the tone for what I wanted to do. And I just understood, like I'm a preparation guy. So yeah. I, early on, I understood the importance of right. The pro of a process, the journey in life, the marathon of life, and yeah, I never you gotta had to go through steps. Like he always would be here, even if he'd be there, or he'd be pulling up right the time he said. So I'd be like, hey, I forgot who I was fooling with today. I thought I had time to take my oldest son home, and he hits me 145. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna come straight there. Yeah. I ain't gonna do something <laughs> like that. Or you like I that. said, I said, you know what? I said, he said a time. You yeah, know, he's coming. He said here. a time. He was I'm gonna be here. here. I say he is Which a is prompt beautiful. person. Mm -hmm. He is prompt, and that that's good, man. Um, because you understand, you understand, and I know you. Uh, your life's on the schedule, so when you live by that schedule, we was talking about respecting time. Mm -hmm. Like you have to respect time. Yeah, you know what I mean. All your time, you have to respect it and make it all count. You got to. Like that's that's one of the biggest things that I've learned in life. Just as an athlete, as an entrepreneur, um, and most recently playing with the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah, man. If Touch on they the talk about, about a time, mind. you two minutes late, they gone. Mm. And you one minute late, you getting fined. Mm. Like if if the bus is leaving at nine o five, you get on a bus nine o six, you're fined. Mm. You get the bus at nine o three, you won't miss the bus. The bus is gone. Like okay. time waits for nobody. That's one of the most important things. Is right. time waits for nobody. So you got to respect it and always be early. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, but, but touch on that real quick because I know we, was me and you yeah. talk personally about yeah. it. But yeah, they had the Garden Globe Trotters. Like, man, that, that was Chris, Chris Franklin from the beginning. Yeah, the Chris Franklin hunt that out. Start from the beginning. So it was a situation where I I was in Harrisburg. I moved to Charlotte. Right. I forgot you yeah, did. Yeah. I, I took a leap of faith, moved mm -hmm. way to Charlotte um, to pursue my after school program. Um, that went pretty good, but it also taught me a lot just about affiliations with people and just how to really it was it was it the whole charlotte when i was here for charlotte a year in charlotte it was one of the greatest learning curves that i had okay it just taught me more about life and people and understanding who to believe who to be affiliated with who right. not to right. what signs to look for um then i was about to move to atlanta and do and be a um, general manager at a gym so i'm in atlanta doing a couple of interviews and i called chris like yo, man. Like, what's up with the globe charters, man? Like, is it still, you know, couple of world? Is it, is it still like? He like, man, be this is the time. He said, I'm gonna give you a number to call. Call his number. We're gonna set you up to try out. The rest is on you. He said, you still in shape, right? I said, come on, man. Yeah. Of course. This is around the time where you like. No, this no, was this was a little bit after. Three, two, after two, yeah. About two years ago. Yeah. Two, two years ago. Duh, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah about yeah. two years ago. So I called a guy. They end up. Long story short, they called me in for a tryout with the Globetrotters in New Jersey, in Wildwood, New Jersey. Okay. About, about, that's about week, two weeks later after the, after the phone call, um, I went there. I killed it. I'm still in crazy shape. Yeah, we were, yeah. Like, it's basketball. Like, I went and killed the tryout. So, at the tryout, what really sold everything was, as I'm playing, I'm the only one, like, really being a point guard, you know, doing drills, talking, talking yeah, and being yeah, communicating, yeah, being like, energetic. It's like, this is what I do. Like, yeah. This is for real. Yeah, I'm in my habitat. Yeah, like yeah. this is my fun place. Yeah. But at the end of the tri at the end of the tryout, we had to do interviews. Okay. Once okay, you man, me. I, I know had my floor. whole briefcase. I know that floor. The, the only, you know I talk. Yeah. the only person out of like forty of us who was there with an actual paper resume. What you wear? Did you wear like? Did you nah, I mean, tie it up? We left right at. We left. I mean, we went from our, our workout. We have okay. to stay in the gym and go right to our interview, okay. but I'm already, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm a preparation yeah, guy, yeah, so yeah. Right? I knew that the interview process was coming as well, because that's just what they told us, it was going to be trial and interview. Right. Um, so I go get my book bag, my, or my, uh, yeah, my, my book bag, I get to my interview session with three other people, sit down, open up my, my book bag, pull out my resumes, 
Hey, you all guys, my name is Brian Major, the owner of Major Preparation, where the motto is putting in major work for major results. Now, but to all parts of life. So no matter whatever you're doing, you have to understand you got to put in the work in order to get the results. Right. Man, they, Adam from there. So look, they, were all sit, they all just said, oh, man. <laughs> and looked at each other. And they told me, this isn't for you. That was the, that was the one guy sitting right next to me. He said, this isn't for you. I'm like, what you mean? He said, "Man, you you more than this because I was I was gonna be played on a on the generals. They going they usually start a lot of people off on the generals if you're not like a household name of doing all. They start you off and now you the opportunity to be yeah. able to build up. They said this ain't for you. So I respect. I didn't understand what he meant at that point because he already he's been the globe trotter. He's like a legend in his globe trotter. He's been coaching the last few years. And his word was this isn't for you. Not because I couldn't play, but." Just because my mentality was way different than everybody in the right. gym. He said, yo, you're going to be like some big time guy one day. Like, I won't even be surprised. Like, you don't even belong. You belong somewhere in corporate America right now. Right. I get it. But again, I was about 28. So I didn't understand what right. he was saying. Like, it was, yeah, my business was growing. But I didn't understand that point at that moment. Of, you know, yo, you got way more in you, man. Right. So, I, you know, did it. They, Ended up telling me on the spot, yeah, you're going to be hired. We're going to send you a contract in two weeks. After the conversation, it'll happen. Um, in the last two years, it was a great experience. Like, one of the greatest experiences I had in my life. Because you're traveling the world. I traveled the whole East Coast, the West Coast, the China for two years straight. Some guys do it for right. 14, 15 years. But I already had my business right. rolling. So that was a huge, when I, when I look at it now, is that was a huge stepping stone for me. So now, on my resume, when I go speak, I'm talking yeah. about I'm playing with the Harlem Globe Travel. Yeah, that's right. Part of the Harlem Globe Travel organization. So people already, right. wow, because everybody in the world can't say that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So even though that guy said that, that's why you still went through with it, right? Are you, are you thinking resume like, motherfucker, I can put this to, to all the experience I have? Yeah. That was a, it's a resume it's builder a for me. Up, right? right? I know I'm not going to be able to do this. That's what I want to see. I want to yeah, see what yeah, like. Well, I'm still young, no kids. Like, I hear you. I still want to see. I want to yeah, still do it. Yeah. And it was funny because last year, we had the same talk. He said, <laughs> what, he, what he called me? He you called back me, again? Um, <laughs> he called me like pastor. He called me like uh, some kind of entrepreneur name, boss man. That's what yeah. he called me, boss man. He said, boss man, it's going to be your last year, boss man. I know it is. And sure enough, it's you done. Y'all, y'all hearing it first. Like I ain't Oh, even, we got an exclusive so I ain't even <laughs> the world yet. Right. But I mean y'all know now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh they'll know, they'll know they in a couple hours. <laughs> man, it was a phenomenal time, like best time of my life. It, it, uh, it teaches you so much about life, man. And being in them stadiums, I was man, like, I played you know, in almost every NBA yeah, arena yeah, possible. Right. Almost every NBA, almost and every they get a nice game. crowd. It's the yeah, man, it's under the lights. Packed. Yeah, it's under we the played lights. in Staples Center. Damn, yeah. it was almost sold out. Yeah, it's under the lights. How was it, man? Walking out of that, running out of them same tunnels, all them NBA guys. Yeah, the same couple, same tunnel. Kobe running out with Steph Curry, KD, LeBron, yeah. D Wade, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan. Yeah. Like Magic Johnson, like yo, them joints. It, the feeling of it was just crazy. Yeah, that's cool. And I, but I, I did say I can, I can, I can honestly say I fulfilled my dream of being a professional basketball player. I was retired True. from basketball. I was done. Like all I did was yeah. train. Like I was yeah. done really like hooping. After that's what happened, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Never retire. You're right, 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 right. <laughs> it's they won't let you. Yeah, they won't yeah, let you. So. They ain't gonna let the game won't let you. Man, <laughs> so it, it, it pulled me back, yeah. and it, it was a blessing, though. I met a lot of man. good friends. Some I knew some of my closest friends who I would never would have known I met through there. Some guy I talk to almost every single day now came from that opportunity. And you, know what it, you know what it takes to teach them and make them great. Man, like That's they, great. Yeah. man, like just my, my, my aura and my impact with just our side of our guys we had, man. All of my, all of those guys are like, I'll talk to them guys any day. Yeah, because I know you're creative with it. Man. I know you're creative with it. I know it's not like something that they can say, oh, yeah, I got that from this camp. I got that from mm-hmm. here. I know you're creative with it. I, man. I, I, I just know the, yeah, we I had, know the workouts is crazy. I know the workouts So we did workouts. Crazy. Then we did a 500-a-day challenge. So we did core reps every day, like six of us. Every day before practice, core reps. 500 hours of challenge every single day. Because it was hard for us to get actual right. workouts in because we traveled – Right. So much, but every day there was no excuse to not have 500, 500 rep core reps in. I know even with the kids, 
Oh yeah, with the kids now. I know. Your kids I mean, ass told you. I say they be like. <laughs> I seen some of them they about to die. It's funny now though, because during his boot camps, I'll be like, I'll be laughing at the pictures in the videos, like, yo, he killing them. Yeah. Killing them. Two, two Tuesdays ago, I literally would passed out, almost passed out three times. Yeah. I, don't, I try to, I try to, don't do it too much. <laughs> just, he, was like, he was like, it took me way longer to do this, but I know mm -hmm. we're under a time joint. It's good, man. It's good though. It's, it's good. good. It's good. I'm, I'm proud of you. I, I, uh, I, I wouldn't expect nothing less. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, it's, it's. You just gotta say, hey. I always look. I, I'm one that I truly believe. Um, I always say, when the door is open, it's open. Yeah. When it's someone from here, and the door is open, and I always feel like people have millions to spend in their best. So I look at it when they see someone that's doing all over the market and that door opens it opens for everyone I, I truly believe Yo, that when that when I like drop kick this door in here it's real soon yeah. everybody gonna fill it yeah. everybody gonna everybody gonna get parts yeah I, I was telling somebody Man. I said to what 2020 if you don't get in and, and don't become lucrative that's on you that is your fault 2020 is gonna be good man man it's gonna be a blessing yeah it's gonna but be good. One, one thing about even fellowship right now is that all of us understand the importance of the process. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. From years ago. Like even though five them, years and yeah, man. Even though <laughs> the Brent before he even started his boot camps mm -hmm. and, and his like his basement now was off the hook. Mm -hmm. But years ago it wasn't as crazy as it is now. Yeah. Like everything's a process yeah. in life. Yeah. yeah. Everything. And if you yeah. gotta just fall in love with the process mm -hmm. and I say it to say you're gonna learn so much yeah about yourself and evolve so much. <clears throat> yeah. There's no true word in the beginning. People there's no money in the beginning. I mean, you, you get a couple of dollars. You know what I mean? But there's, you ain't up for it. It's that journey. It's the experiences. It, it comes when you when you're doing what you enjoy. Yep. It's not work. It's it's, it it's work. what you love. You know what I mean? That's why I, I know. Like I, I looked at um, how all right. So how many is it that came through you? And I'm gonna say came through you because they trained under you. I know it's some that went to college. Yeah. Some that went to the NBA. It's it's. Some cats is overseas. Overseas. Yeah. When Everything. they come home yeah. and they and they rock with it. And that's and that's big because I'm like, he's getting them in gear that when they go what they thought was gonna be hard. This would be come on, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? So as you say that, I got some six year olds now who mm -hmm. like I our workouts are so crazy, they look at me like I'm crazy. Like they sometimes don't wanna come back. Right. But they come back for more, for more, and I make them go crazier and crazier right. and crazier and crazier, so that again, once, like that's going to be what they're accustomed to is yeah. workouts so so hard. I almost want to throw up every. That's what I want you to get yeah. accustomed to. And it builds character. And it builds character. And when I went to college, I was so in shape, I was so in tune, I was so prepared that I had to go take a senior spot as a point guard, a freshman, like. I had to go take this dude's spot. And I took it. I never gave it up. I never gave that spot up. Because he pissed at you? He was pissed. We still don't talk to this day. Okay. That's on him, though. That's on him. But I I mean, I knew. Right. Dude, you don't stand a chance. I, I have a mindset. I still want to court. Like, you don't stand a chance against me. I don't care who you Did are. Did you keep in touch with Smalls there and all of this? Yeah, I ain't even going to speak on it. Um, Smalls. I expect nothing less. <laughs> Shout out to Smalls, man. Shout out to Smalls, yo. But uh, yeah, man, I, I just I just learned a lot from other other guards, other other players, other like, Harris, other Harrisburg legends about their court, and especially Sean Lou and Coach Dad. Yeah. Will Chase's the heart of guard guys, Mo Maxwell, um, Tamara London, Dre Henry, um, yeah, Ross it, it was crazy. Man, all that when we was kids, that was crazy. Man, listen, man. I left the Quincy block to go watch them play. I ain't yo, listen, it was, little, it was, it was like, kids. yo, crazy. like, yo, when they was playing, I was like, yo, we going to the game. They're like, you going to the game? We going to the game. Yo, like, man. listen, I'm telling you, them dudes yo, special. Times. Yes, that joint was special. Like everybody in the hood, like, yeah, yo, we man, yes, crazy. We leave practice. Yeah, I, I know. I'd be in my little wrestling workout, probably stink and smell like wrestling room. Yeah, you come from your yeah, your basketball practice. Yeah. You gotta be there. You had to be there back then. You had yes, to. That's what's up. A lot man. of those guys, like I said, they put me under their wing, and I was ready, and I took his spot, and I kept it, and so I was, so I was done. But again, it's part of the process. 
It taught me a lot. Everything I've been through taught me so much about life. Just like I'm sure everything that you're going through. Yeah. With the comedian stuff and the training and even this. Like, this is a process. Like, this yeah, is... But this, is, well, this is what? Episode four? No. no damn near 40. <laughs> 40. So I should say four because I, I, yeah. I, like, really got to... Which I was going, try, I really like started to tune in like the last oh, few so, yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah, yeah. I was going and yeah, you was, I was yeah, so yeah, much yeah, in the, yeah, yeah. and that's one of the things that's, that's so that's so dope about learning is that when you locked in, man, and you got to understand a lot of stuff, a lot of other stuff can't matter. Yeah, not that, it's, it's not on purpose. purpose. Yeah. It's not on purpose. Yeah. But if you can't get right for yourself, yeah. you can't, you can't no, even. Yeah. It's a, um, it's a thing where I always say. Even if I'm not watching, I, I wouldn't expect nothing less because I'm busy too. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. I wouldn't expect nothing less. Um, and I like the fact that <clears throat> it's motivation for me and it's motivation for everyone. Um, just that you got, you, it, it's being done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Even here, it's being done. And your attitude is always the same. Mm -hmm. um, you don't where I don't want to say your emotions, but you you always look at life in a positive light. Yeah. And, 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 yeah, and are you that, ever and, pissed and, off? <laughs> and, 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 I, I, and I understand it, and that and that's good, man, because you're doing what you love, and it's genuine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is what you love to do, and I just look at the kids, man. I'm like, showing them a different me. light. Yeah. I don't even crazy. think do the kids know though. Do they understand who they got? Like. Teaching them this, these some, some of them under some of them get to understand like the older they get, right? The older they get, they, they start to understand. But and I, for me, I especially my younger ones, it's little bro, little sis. So I don't care if they until later understand, like, yo, you was what, but that, but and that was that's a big testimony to, to, that's to where the humility to, comes from, that's, too. That's Chris Franklin did it to me, right? Like, I understood who Chris Franklin was. But he was still my old head. He was still a big bro. Right. So once he started to really, like, really tune me in and really wind me in, and he always was humble. Like, even to this day, that you would, if you didn't know Chris Franklin, you wouldn't know Chris Franklin. Right. Because he's not walking in with, yeah, like, not, a super... Yeah, not, yeah. But if you if you know him, you will understand his presence. You want his presence. He gives everybody the same respect. Too. Yeah, like, I never really character. chopped it up with him, but when he sees me, he does me up. Yeah, he's a good. His yeah. character, his, yeah, his, his character, his character speaks I'm before you, what I'm you know. Man. Yeah, I'm his character speaks before yeah. what you know he does. Yeah. Like, and, that, and that's big with a lot of yeah. people. And you said it's crazy. You said do you ever get pissed off, man? Yo, I get asked that a lot. And my answer is no. I ain't been pissed off since May nine two thousand eight. So, and I say that because. My pop died that day. Worst and best day of my life. Worst day because I lost my hair. I lost my pop. But best day because it made me a man. It made me really reevaluate all the lessons and things that he taught me. Like he hey. taught me, like it's life cycle. Like it, you're gonna be born, you're gonna live, you're gonna face some adversity. You either, it's gonna either, either gonna make you or break you, and you're gonna die. Like it's mm -hmm. it's just how it, how it is. I think a lot of us took life ser more. A lot of us took life a little more serious too. Man. Yo, like, it was like a it was a cloud that came over the city right quick when we all heard that news about you. It was pop, tough. Yo. It was tough. But like, my mom, I never saw my mom cry one time. Like she, I never saw her fold and break down. Cause she had that. She still had four boys looking at her. And y'all wasn't all out of college. Was, man, you wasn't was, out of college yet. I was just I was going into my junior year. Yeah. So it was crazy going back to college and seeing my dad not in that front row. Like I broke down at that game. Probably one of my best games. Right, ever. that was like finals week too. Hold on, wasn't that finals week when he passed away? It was May 9, two thousand eight. Was that kind of like a little after finals? Like a little after finals, a little after graduation and all that. Real close to Mother's Day. Yeah, bro, like that was a, that was it. But again, it was an option. Either you going fold, either adverse, this adversity is going to make you or break you. Right. One way or the other, because time, like it's talking about time. It's gonna go on regardless how you yes. feel, how you think, how you act, your choices. Yeah, yeah, so you got yeah. a choice to make the right choice or the bad choice. Cause time don't give a damn about what you're going through. <laughs> it don't give yeah. a damn how yeah. you feel, who you lost, what yeah. girl left yeah. you. Yeah. No nothing. It don't care. Yeah, yeah. she gonna keep moving. <sighs> time don't. You stop know what I forgot to mention at the beginning too. <laughs> the Goodfellas squad. They used to throw yeah. that. Yeah. The parties down at the Dragonfly and at the Eclipse and 
Those was good Those nights was too. Some good nights, <laughs> man. Good fellas parties. Man, was we had some good times. Mm-hmm. But it, like I said, all that stuff it just molds you and, and formulates you, and you can create a passion and a purpose for yourself. And you lock in on it. I'm, I'm telling you, like I, I feel it. Like I, ain't, yeah, man, I, yeah, yeah. don't dread getting up in the morning. Man, you I'm don't dread going it. up. When uh, you got a motivation behind what you're doing, like a real, not like a, I want to go make a hundred thousand dollars. I'm talking about a real personal, passionate. Yeah, it's a desire. Man, it's yeah, gotta be a desire. Six a.m. Yeah. Feet on the ground. Let's go. Yeah, without let's go win the day. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't wake up miserable anymore, bro. Like it's, it's, it's different. It's a mind. Life's a mindset. Yeah. Life, some life is a. Like I'm so happy now. Like when I get in the car to drive, and that, to and that's like, I'm I'm happy. that is that is. Uh, I mean, we had the fitness, but I feel that's our connection. Um, that, you are optimistic. You look at life that way, and, and I went through my pitfalls that got me to that point and where I'm at in that point, and mm-hmm. that's what I recognize with you. Um, that's what I understand the most is that it's a mindset. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it's determination. And I even paid attention to that. And I took that when I met Terry. Because I met Terry yeah. a little bit. Yep. And the same time when me and you was working out. And that that same type of mindset he had with working out with me. When I thought I was doing something. Mm-hmm. He was able to hang. And I found somebody that was doing something on another level. And I was like, I got to be able to hang. And then we always. And then it just helped everybody. And I was like, yeah. That's, that, that mindset of. I cannot not do it. I cannot Yo, stop. Yo, and that's a perfect example of, I tell people now, you, you have to live a life that somebody's going to be inspired by. Yeah. Because I didn't know Brent. I didn't know Terry. But they was they were living a life that I even just saw in the gym that helped mold me who I am today. Yeah. But See, they, everything goes, goes hand in hand, 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 Everything about life. Like, that's why I, I gotta tell people about. You even, you even gotta be like, even this day, you gotta be careful of what you post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what you expose to the world yeah. because like energy and aura and, mm-hmm. and vibes and vision is real. Like it's not, it's not something to be played with. Mm-hmm. Like I, I guess, <laughs> and I, I get it. That people think so, yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah. that little girl no, or I somebody looking that, at you yeah, like that. That yeah, little boy yeah, is, is looking at that post because you don't know when yeah. somebody shares your post of. Yeah. Who somebody, else is going to see it? You know, That's why I don't yeah. do the rants anymore. I don't oh, talk about my situation. I used, tell, I used to tell you, bro, like, don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. And bro, I don't do it anymore. I share my memes, but I don't. Yeah. Nope, you didn't get nothing about my personal life ever again. It's, it's, it's real. Like, it's real. Yeah. I'd probably have some fans that would come see a show if I didn't have that four years or five years of me doing that dumb shit on Facebook. Yeah. Yo, it's real. Yeah. Like, the power of social media is real. Yeah. The power of your vision, the power yeah. of your actions are yeah. real. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, if I didn't know, so I went to, when, I, when we were transitioning to Golds, mm-hmm. I used to see Terry Martin muscle ups like crazy, like 10 in a row, and then go do 20 burpees. I'm like, yo, like, I want to do that. And then he started doing it, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, I was cool, I was cool. I, I sit back, I'm like, I'm going to go over and do these triceps and do a couple of them on this machine while they over there. And you know what's crazy? I never tried it, even though I probably could. Yeah, he's strong, easily strong enough. Like, it, like, it, it, it looks... Tough to, but he's so strong he could easily yeah, if, you, if you want if I wanted to but just like just like he'll go bench 225 I'm not going to do that no more I could then I'm not going to do that no more no it's just I'm not doing it it's not that I can't it's just so that I'm not doing it I'm, I'm not squatting 315 I'm not I am. Doing <laughs> <it>. <laughs> for me that's, just, my, that's my PR <laughs> I'm just not doing it no more right, right. like I'll do 100 squats in a row yeah, I'm just not doing three. I'm just not doing it. Yeah, I feel you. But you know, there's certain things. And, and but it's, it's being okay with it. It's being okay with it. It's just being. That's okay. why I had to learn. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. If you're not okay with what you see, because you see people in there now, they're doing 500 views to wake up. Oh, I wish that. Like I can't. Now listen, okay I'm okay journey. with yeah. what I do. I'm okay you with it. Got to be secure in yourself. God, I'm okay with it. Like I, I, I commend, I commend the level that he is on because I, my passion is the same four people but it's it's in my realm yeah mm-hmm. you see what i'm yeah. saying i'm not gonna come out there and try to be on your stage going to the schools and doing uh, that's bro bro ball with them bro understands academics he understands the structure of academics and that i'm not gonna come in there and play like i do you see what i'm saying um yeah it's, I, that's I, my I, person like i've yeah, said people to him now like yeah yeah he does like all the time like yeah, i does. don't i don't i haven't 
dialed in on oh, like, serpenting yeah. somebody, serpenting a guy who's trying to gain muscle and yeah, I've been mean, like dialed in on that. the basketball skills. I will sharpen up the, the basketball the or mm-hmm. I'll mess or sharpen up somebody's mind frame of wanting mm-hmm. to lose weight. I I will we'll go get it in and I hope you lose weight without weights. Where our calisthenics calisthenics only like if somebody wants to like lose weight and work out with me, they have to understand that we're going to we're doing calisthenics. We're doing high intensity interval training. Yes. But if you're trying to build up and get strong and yeah, I just not my forte yeah. no more. It's yeah. like not that I can't, it's just you I learned, you, 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 you yeah. good. I don't oh, I learned that I had to dial by in. example too, because I was like, bro's not lifting like crazy, so that's why I know he'd be like. But you know how to maintain. Yeah, he look good. I yeah, I'm sure it's still look crazy. Like, like as if like this it, this month I'm lifting weights. I'm not going heavy. Picture. Where was his uh, chest was nuts. I said. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, he down there eating weights. He was in Murphy. He was in, in, in Murphy. Yeah, I was I'm like. Sure. His shoulders was crazy. Yeah, I was there like, was a time that I was. It was just a transition. My mind was just. He was going, and I was like, I see him. I was like, I'm gonna have to go. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Was it looked Yo, good though? I, 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 I told you that. I said, yeah, he looked yeah. real good, man. Yeah. I, I, it was real good. I was like, man, he looked real good. And then I, I was tripping. I said, he down there leading. He down there teaching. But Straight up. He, I could tell it, it was good. I it, was good it was a good time down there. But like you said, man, it's it's the process, man. It's just the process, and my mind now is, yo, it's just it's just getting good now. Right. It's seven years deep. It's right. just getting good now. Like so good, where I just turned that again. I tell nobody this. I just turned out a fifty thousand dollar job. It's just getting too good. You ain't trying to work for nobody. Uh, I'm getting that. You. Ain't- it ain't no point. Yeah, you're good. It's getting too good. There ain't man. no point right now. I, I, I understand. I've been going, through too much. Yeah, now. it's going to give you back. Uh, uh, you're, you're locked in. Um, and I if I might hold you back. Yo, it will. I can't do it. And I don't even say can, but I can't do that. Yeah, you're determined. That's it, 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 you, you've seen the future, I want to say. I can, you can I see it. Yeah. But this is the beautiful thing. As an entrepreneur and as somebody who has balanced multiple things, that's what you want to go through, though. Like, I'm like crazy. You want to not be able to... You want to say, I can't get a 9 to 5. I'm too damn busy. Too busy, bro. And I'm kind of all right with what I'm doing. I'm maintaining. Right. <laughs> like, and that's all That's all it is right now for me is maintain. Grow, maintain. When is day one day at a time? Maintain, grow. So, like, right now, I got I got composition books with, like, highlighted of, like, day-by-day day wins. Right. Okay. So it don't. So with, as I said, I say I'm not getting no. Job. I can't get no job. Right. I can't go right. move to, go to Baltimore and get this video. I can't do it. Right. Like I've been. Like I got the composition books of how many stuff that I accomplished already. Even if it's day to day stuff. Right. Right. It's I've been too business. consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seven years strong. Consistent. Yeah. Like I'm. Yeah. I'm talking about consistent and precise. And I test myself yeah, every day, bro. Bro. Did I'm you like, test? Did you test your nuts by this bulk of clothes you just got? Is this one of the biggest shipments you? Bro. I see you taking pictures in front of like a thousand bins. Is this Bro. is this the test? One of them? It's it's not even the test. It's 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 this is proof. It's a proven fact yeah. that it's, it's going to go now. Yeah. Like it's yeah. I'm seven years in, bro. I got my mind is it's crazy now. Like it's it's really crazy. You have the time. You've been on the bro. trail. The foundation bro. is laid. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's always here. Like it's not overnight, bro. It say it takes sometimes twenty years to be coming over. I'm seven years in. I ain't. I'm only seven years. You know what I like. It don't feel like it ain't been bro. that long. It feels bro, it just it started. Like I'm just starting. Bro. It just started. Yeah. Like my mind is crazy, yeah. bro. Like I was talking to one of my mentors yesterday. And um he's like, yo, your time coming, man. Yeah. He's been found. And I got about six mentors I talk to pretty often. That's like, all in that oh, book. Man, I'm 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 telling you I'm a sponge. Yeah. And they now they be student like, and the teacher. Man. I always say you gotta be both. Yeah. They be like, yo. You're almost ready. They, that's all they say is you're almost ready. Keep going. Yeah. Keep working. You're almost ready. And I feel it though. Like I feel it. I, so I what feel do you, it, so we're coming up on we got a couple minutes. Uh, what do you love the most? I know everything is but what 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 is your center? Mm. Teaching principles that empower preparation. Like that, and that's that's my thing now is teaching okay. principles that empower and preparation that, and seeing people benefit from it. That's what that's what it that's is. What energy, that's what that's what it that's is, man. Smart. 
That's it. And I, I've been blessed to to go through so many different lanes of mm-hmm. photography and clothing and fitness and, and basketball training and just agility training and then speaking and then professional and just, basketball. Yeah, and just being genuinely a loving person. That so so my, my, my experiences are so broad that I learned to narrow them in now to basketball training, clothing, speaking. Like that's pretty much my life now. It's not that I'm saying I can't do those. Right, if right, I got right, extra time, right, right, yeah, I did right, one that way. Right. It's either basketball training, clothing, or speaking. That's it, man. And that's, but every, and that, yeah. bro, everything else tied right in, though. The experience I learned doing photography it helped me. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it all just tied yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, of course. You just see. Yeah, did you speak general. in New Orleans at the Delta Zone? I just spoke in New Orleans, man. I'm speaking at jails. Yeah? Like, speaking at jails. Right. It's, it's, I'm telling you, man. Like, I'm going to be a millionaire, man. Absolutely. I'm going to be a millionaire. You know man. what my cousin taught me? My cousin's an author, and he's a uh, he's a speaker. He taught me that the most important part is get a book done, because your book is your business card. It's your niche. Once you got this, you can go speak anywhere you want. It's your story. I just got to tell your story. And that, that came about. This is your crazy. business card. Yeah. Like, I was challenged to write that in 90 days. Okay. Wrote it in 30 days, flat. It was three fourteen. And you just go into an editor, right? Bro, that's it. You gotta just tell your story. Let the editor figure out all the periods and commas yeah. and what you yeah. did wrong, right? That's it. Just tell your story. That's what's it's like, gonna man. inspire somebody. Yeah, I guess. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm almost at a thousand unit sales. Yeah. Almost a year to a to a, to exact. It's just, it's just the thing is, you can sell this forever. You can sell it forever. My second book already done that. I was getting edited now. Okay. So it's just going. I'm just so locked in, man. Like, I'm, I'm lazy on that bro. part. But I've been told people ask me to write book. I just man, I started, and I stopped. I started, and I stopped. I commend you on that. Yeah, like, I, I tried to write a book. It's, 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 and well, you told me what to do, though. It's just like you find what you can be consistent at, yeah. and you got to lock in on yeah, that. That's how, yeah, yeah. Like I can't, lock, I, I, can't I can't lock in. I can't do what. Yeah, yeah, I can't go lock in and try to go train twenty five people now. Yeah. Like I can't do it. I, I can't get on one stage and be right. okay. I don't have to. I don't have to tell jokes. Right, right, right. I'm not. Right. Going, I'm not going to go try right. to go tell jokes. But if somebody talking about basketball training, building a clothing line, or being a professional speaker, that's that, that's that's where I'm gonna go. That's where I'm gonna go, and that's just works for me. And I tell people, you gotta find what works for you, and then you gotta go. You gotta go, like you gotta go. <laughs> what work? Find what works with you, and you gotta go. Because we got think we get we can be inspired by The Rock and Jay Z mm-hmm. and Meeks and. And less Browns and less Miles yeah. and all the other people. If all they did was find what worked for them, yeah. and they good and they all went. All the same, and yes. they went. Is what, yep. That's it. Kevin mm-hmm. Hart, he found, he went. Yeah, he's one of my. Yeah, yeah. I have people at. I, I oh, all. Just, we, go. we was talking about that. We was talking about um, not so much being in in the front, seeing the show from there. We like to come around and know how they got there. Tyler Perry the great. Yo, it's hearing their story to see everybody like the like we were saying, be a customer, be a fan of, but don't understand. And I, I feel that's where you lose out because you like this person, but you don't know no, they, why. They, they you gotta know the why yeah. is what gets me. Like man, I purchased the story, and, and it and it that's the that's that spinach. You be like, yo, listen, listen, I wake up, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I said it's just the end. Like, I know how you feel when you wake up. Man. I know. Like waking up where you, listen, this is another day I'm gonna learn mm-hmm. something, something's gonna be I'm coming out to see exactly what I'm gonna learn and what is gonna mm-hmm. be new and what I think I know ideas just come in. I just write them down. I'm gonna have to act on it for three years later. I'm yeah. I'm acting but it's now. Still, yeah. But yeah. It, it's it's out of my mind, it's on paper, I ain't going to work. Come back to it. Later. Yeah, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's put me it's, on that. I finally got myself a binder and a journal. It works. And like, simple, yeah. life is simple. All the jokes are in the phone. I would if I, if I come it's up with a joke. I'm not even knowing and just staying on that square. Listen, man. Stay focused, Bro, man. Listen, keep they working. wouldn't be able to knock me off. They ain't gonna knock you off. <laughs> listen, I'm locked in, man. Yeah. And that's what I, I respect see, I about love it. you. That's, love that, it. that's, that's the same thing. I love yeah. it, man. You gotta be locked Thanks, in, bro. man. You know what I mean? We've been coming past a lot of people. And, and they speak highly of you, and they know you. Like uh, even Leland said that he's like, man, you gotta hear B story. You know, what I mean, even though we know a little bit, but just hearing it coming from you and for the people that didn't read, but 
even it's a couple people that came here that spoke highly of you. Um, That's what's up. On a, uh, Madonna. a couple, yeah, Madonna. It was mm -hmm. a couple people on a couple episodes. Like they spoke highly of you, um, and it, it was good. Like, and that's where you know exactly what you're doing because them people with prestige yeah. are speaking and saying the same thing. You know what I mean? So, it, it, it's big, man. And you gotta stay working. It ain't even work. Yeah. It's just, it's just staying, staying active, staying, staying active. active. Yeah, staying, staying relevant, staying consistent, staying just doing what you do, man. And you lead by example. Sure. You know what I mean? You are your brand. We see you. We know what to expect, and we appreciate you, man. You know, you know one thing, man. That I love about us three right now, and it's nothing against our hometown because I know we all love Harrisburg, but we are touching people outside of yeah, Harrisburg yeah, we, now. We're reaching that point. We're getting yeah, to that point. Yeah, I, I seen that. Even the comments on the, uh, YouTube is people that's not even from here, and I was like, that's big. You know what I mean? You grow, grow local. And I just love. Local. I, I love doing this. Um, I just love hearing people and just hearing because I'm one for the story. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm one to hear. The story just get good, too. Yeah, how it's you get there. Good. Yeah, it's good. We'll be back no, here. I got six good. months sober and six months in my fitness journey, yo. So now I feel like... We talk I don't know we got to hurry up, but I, I know it's like, yo, if this was a year ago, I would have probably just be here quiet, feeling like I got to get my shit together. Man, part of it, man. Yes, yeah, yes. Now I can sit in on this conversation. <laughs> he couldn't even, could even sit with you at that point, though, either. Yeah. You know what I mean? He wouldn't, mm -hmm. he wouldn't sat with mm -hmm. you, but now... Yeah, I seen something. I told him that I seen something. Yo. We uh, we we he came in as a guest, and um, I was like, it was something. I was mm -hmm. like, I can because my wife knew him, and when she was like, he was a regular wrestler. I'm like, damn, I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> and he came on to my show. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, I liked it. Even when I did, it was crazy because even with him in his mess, so to say, I didn't notice the mess. I yeah. seen. I was like, yeah, yo, I like that. him. You know what I mean? I was like, I like, I he, like him. And he worked it out with me. He said, you're coming to work out. I don't give a fuck. How we got to put this pie together? You Come on. Yeah. And I, I knew it was the... I Yo, seen it. So I'm man. definitely um, grateful for him. I appreciate y'all having me up here, man. This, yeah, is, this man. is dope. Man. This is he, love. Always, he always speaks high. He always speaks highly problem. of you. Yeah, he, all, he definitely does. Like, um... He lights up. I, I laugh because he lights up over certain people. When he lights up, he's like, yeah, I got it. We should have... Yeah. I'm like... And I let I know he hangs yeah. with it and he he's definitely in tune because he's not what I'm accustomed to. Right. And I like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like it he to himself. Um not saying that everybody's not their stuff, but he's different from yeah. what I'm used to. Yeah. You all you're all are. It's how he was raised though. It, it's different. So I definitely um this appreciate dope, your drive, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You can come back. You ever have an announcement? You know what I mean? Or you can let your, your announcements pile up or just anything. Yeah, even in. random conversations. Like, we be trying to get people to come in. Like, even if it's not an interview, we just busting it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just staying consistent, talking, just sharing motivation. Yeah. That's, I, that's I, I, it. Listen, that's... That's it. You know, putting in that major work. That's you it. You know what I mean? That's you know, it. It's, it's a couple people, our doors open for them. To yeah. be repeat, uh, repeat guys just come through and kick it. That's what's so up. yeah, you um, real quick, we got a couple minutes. Tell me where to find you, what you got going on, if there's anything you want to share. Ah, uh, just kind of lock in. Um, again, I'm Brian Majors, owner of Major Preparation. You can find me at. Uh, it, that book is rolling. It's gonna change your life. I promise you. And if it doesn't, send it back to me. I refund you. I promise you. <laughs> but major www .majorpreparation .com, majorpreparation .com. Instagram is at major major prep lifestyle or at major prep underscore apparel. Okay, and we can connect all that. Let's make it happen. And it should be close to you. What's going on? Yo, next there? Saturday I am at 750 North Front Street and still in. Uh, me and four other funny brothers from Harrisburg, PA, uh, got a comedy show going on. Uh, so that's Saturday, September 21st. Doors open at seven. Show starts at eight. 750 North Front Street and still in. I got tickets on deck for ten dollars. Holler at me, and I'm headlining. Y'all heard it first. I ain't even put that on Facebook. And I'm headlining. Be there. Tickets for sale. Ten dollars. Jeff Stanton on Facebook. At Funny Man Jeff on Instagram. Feels so good because let's go. It's, it's going. It's going down. Let's go. It's going down. Yeah, man. I appreciate you guys, man. I definitely do. This is good, man. This is real good. Time, right. They say time rolling when you're having fun, man. Yeah, hell yeah. I definitely. I know people going to tune in. They gonna get something from this, man. The is it's the interview that's gonna make us famous. Growth, <laughs> yeah. In ten years, when they, when they replay this, it's yeah, what's gonna be? Yeah, they be getting played. They be on me. On you, dead. Whatever with the bit. Well, you you know what we have to say. You see it. Whatever with the bishop on YouTube. You know what I mean? On Facebook is Magic Moves <laughs> with the Mosleys. You know we just um 
Hit us up, man. We thank you, man. We appreciate it. Keep tuning in, y'all. All right. Peace.